Hello, my beautiful friends. Thank you for clicking on my video. I'm so thankful that you are joining us today, and I'm honored that you clicked on my video to give us a watch today. And so, yes, I just appreciate you all. Hey, friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla and Big Daddy's YouTube channel. I'm Kayla. And I'm Big Daddy. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you being here. We are actually headed to Shreveport, Louisiana for uh, my doctor's appointment. And so we are making our way towards Shreveport. It's a beautiful day. The sun's shining bright. It's pretty clouds. So, the yeah. The AC's running cold. <laughs> yep. The car has got a cold AC. So, hopefully we won't do any sweating today. <laughs> I'll show you what project I brought to work on in the car. Woohoo! I got some pretty pink today. So I pulled out, um, well, I was working on my sweater that I've been working on. I finished it and got it to the length I need. And now I've got to start the sleeves. But I've got to, um, I'm going to have purple sleeves on it. And I've got to make sure that I have enough of that purple to create those sleeves before I start that. So I wanted to um, not just start it not knowing that I was going to have enough purple. Anyway, so I pulled this project today to work on. And, um, yeah, Big Daddy brought me this black tray thing that he had had in the den. A lap desk. It has some legs on it and it fits over my lap here. And so it's kind of like crocheting at the table. So that's helping me be able to crochet in the car. And so anyway, what is this project? I, I cannot tell you the pattern for this project because I don't remember. Okay, that's just, and, and I didn't follow the pattern anyway. I started out using a pattern. And I think it was a pattern I bought on Etsy. I started out using the pattern and then the pattern didn't really make sense. It wasn't that clear. It's, it's not a pattern that I would recommend anyway. So it, it was, turned into a Llama Mama original. Yeah, and so once I got... Um, once I got so far and I just couldn't follow that pattern anymore because it just didn't... It wasn't worded, worth the flip. Um, I just decided to do my own thing. And that's what I'm doing. And so I just kept trying it up to me to, um, you know, decide where to make the armholes. And so this is a, like a boho vest. And anyway, the pattern only went up to like maybe a size large or something. And, um, it might have been using like a five millimeter H hook or something. Um, but, and so I was kind of re rewriting the pattern from the beginning because I was using um, bigger stitches wherever it called for singles or half crochets um, I was using doubles anyway and so I'm using my eight millimeter hook because I need my vest to be size fabulous instead of size large <laughs> and I'm using red heart jazz that is the color that i'm using the um red heart ombre in the colorway jazz and like Billy Crystal used to say it, fabulous. and so um anyway so i'm just kind of at, at this point i'm just going around and around and around to get it to the size that i want it in the front so anyway that's what i'm going to be working on on the way to shreveport right now we're headed to where are we headed big daddy sonic i guess sonic you have to go there every time i have to go to sonic i mean there's no question about it <laughs> So, yep, that's our day. I'd like a large sweet tea and a large Coke Zero, please. 
our first stop of the day and the most important stop. Alright. Not really, but All I right. have to have my sweet tea. So something I was going to tell you about what I'm doing on my um, boho vest now is I am doing double crochets, chain one, double crochet. So a V-stitch and then three chains and then another V-stitch. And so I'm doing that around this row here. I did triples, triple crochet and then a double round of double crochets and this is a round of double crochets I'm doing. I think the next row I'll probably do triples again and then I'm gonna repeat it like that. I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go. So, hey. But anyway, so I am doing V-stitches, three chains, and V-stitch all the way around. And I might even... No, I was going to say I might do four chains, but no, I'll just keep it at three. But anyway, yep, that's what I'm doing. This is working out pretty good, having this little table here, giving me something to kind of, um, you know, hold my project. Because I can't hold my project, the hook and the yarn and all that at the same time with the condition that my hands are in. So this this is helping a lot. Yeah, breathing. Yes. Oh, I just kind of rewatched that first clip when me and Big Daddy said hello, and it looked like I did not have a top on. I do have a top on. And I have a wrap, a black wrap that I will put on whenever I go to get out of the car. I just didn't want to wear it and kind of be confined with my arms. So, but I do have a top on. <laughs> I watched, huh? She didn't want y'all thinking she rode around topless in the car now. <laughs> I'm not topless. <laughs> I watched that clip and I was like, it looks like I don't even have a top on. <laughs> But I will put my black wrap on whenever I go to get out of the car or go in the doctor's office or go in anywhere. I won't go in places like this. This is just for riding. <laughs> and I guess for YouTube now. <laughs> we have made it to Bossier, Louisiana. So we just got to cross over the river to be in Shreveport. And we're not that far from my doctor's office actually right nope. yeah so i've been working on this i've got about two rounds done which is a good amount because this is very large <laughs> it's a long way around so the road that i'm on now i'm actually doing triple crochets chain um v stitches triple and then a chain one and a treble and then I'm doing three chains in between so and it's it takes a little bit to crochet this because it's not just like a fast crochet that's hard to explain but it's it's not a fast crochet I'm having to really hold my um, yarn and hook and maneuver that around Anyway, and there's my jazz yarn laying up on the dash. So, it is a pretty day. At least it's not raining. Yeah. It's a pretty day. It's just hot. I don't know what the temp is. 93. 93, Big Daddy says. I'm at my doctor's appointment, but we're a bit early, so I just thought I'd look out this window and see the top of a roof, I guess. <sighs> Actually, our, I see our car down there. It's black.
It is a pretty day. I'm in the doctor's office waiting on the doctor to come in. The nurse has already been in, so I'm just waiting on the doctor now to come and adjust my pump. I could get on that bed and go to sleep right now. I'm so sleepy. Mm -hmm. I said I could get on that bed and just go to sleep right mm -hmm. now. So I'm coming out of my doctor's office visit. I have a Medtronic pain pump inside my abdomen on my right side. And so I come to this report every two weeks and I get morphine continuously through that pump. But also I can give myself bolus dosages. And so they upped that dosage that I get by 20%. So I get 20% continuous more and 20% more on my bolus dosages. Thank you, babe. <coughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm in. Uh, it's okay. So, anyway, it does get really expensive coming over here every two weeks. Because not only that, I have doctor's appointments at home, too. And I have a $55 copay. And if you have six doctor's appointments in a month, <laughs> that adds up. That's not counting your prescriptions and, you know, other medical supplies and stuff like that. So, yeah, it'll be nice to just only have to come once a month after next yeah. month so yeah. hopefully that works out and it'll, it'll yeah. work out like that huh big daddy see, see how this adjustment works i wouldn't push it back yeah i wouldn't push it back to the month just yet see what's that noise Okay, so, anyway, whatever. I hear a noise. <laughs> Alright, so we are headed to... Where are we headed, Big Daddy? Is it the radio? It's your radio. Yeah. Yes, it was on static. <laughs> I knew I heard something, so he's deaf. He can't hear anything. AEM for some reason. Yeah, he can't hear anything, and so... Yeah. Anyway, where we headed, Big Daddy? Headed to Joann's. Joann's? So we did go to Joann's, and that'll be a different video. And so now we are going to the Blind Tiger, that building right there on the corner that we're passing now. We're going there to eat dinner, lunch, or something. We ain't had breakfast. <laughs> That is our one meal for today, so we are going there to eat, and I don't know what's wrong with the color of the video right here, but it is very off. Hmm. Anyway, so we're having to drive around to the back side of the building to park, so we're just making our way back around there and just admiring the architect of the buildings and um, the surroundings. Lots of neat, cool things. So, yeah, over here in Shreveport, you, at some places you do have to pay to park. And so, this particular place, it's like five bucks to pay. And you have to do it, like, electronically with your car, your uh, phone. You have to scan the little thing and then pay to park back here. And so, yeah, we don't do that here in my town. I don't know of any places like that in my town. But here, that is a thing that we have encountered and so yeah we don't want to get towed so we're gonna pay <laughs> yeah so anyway 
I love that brick wall right there. That would be um, great for a backdrop for some photos. So this little blue car here is here all the time. I hope that, so I'm assuming they're an employee. So I want to just show you their car. And I hope they don't have to pay to come to work and park. But anyway, maybe they get a pass. But that car is always here. And I don't think I've shared that with you guys. But I love it. Sometimes we park beside it. And I always read that, but I thought I would just share that with you guys. So Big Daddy's over there at the sign, paying to park. And I like this little area. A lot of homeless people do hang out there, but it's a bridge um, that we ride over from Bossier to Shreveport and from Shreveport to Bossier during our trips here. And so... Going up over here, there's a really neat building here. It says Chicago up on that sign, and then it's some um, questionable. <laughs> it's just like a questionable place back in the day. It's closed down and boarded up. The windows are boarded from the inside, but um, I just think it has a neat look to it. Now, here on the side here... Um, not that side that I'm looking at right now, but the other side, there's some places like there's this one particular homeless guy that sits out there a lot. And when we come here to eat, we um, if he's out there and hadn't had anything to eat, we do order him a meal. He usually sits right there in the shade right there. We do order him a meal and make sure he's got something to eat and drink because I cannot sit in that window and eat knowing there's someone hungry sitting out there. So here we are back in Monroe, Louisiana, almost home. We're passing Home Depot and Target, Michaels, and all those stores there. Coming up on Pecanland Mall. And I believe we live like eight miles from Pecanland Mall. So, yep, we are almost home. About eight more miles. But I appreciate you guys following along with us today and joining us for our little um road trip to shreveport and back it's been a day it's been a long day i'm ready for bed so i'm going home do what i gotta do let phoebe out to potty tend to all the animals give them some loving get my pajamas on and i'm going to bed <laughs> and i will see you all later i love you guys remember it is a beautiful day to enjoy your life and do whatever brings you some happiness today I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're having a great weekend. I plan to chill and relax this weekend and rest up, recuperate from this trip. But I do appreciate you guys giving our video a watch. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye, friends.